So welcome back to another episode of the Spurs career mode in the European Premier League. If we take a look at the table, last time we ended the episode we were on top, but Juventus has played a game and Bayern Munich have as well. And Juventus go back on top, 49 points, we're on 46. So we have to win every match until we overtake them once again. But things are looking up. We've got Son on fire, absolutely killing it at the moment. 21 goals, no one is catching him for that. And today's schedule is going to be two games. We're going to play Leipzig and then two days later, Man City. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 21 content. The last time I checked, subscribing is free, so please do so and help the channel out. Now, we've got a few transfer offers and stuff, players getting offers, but I'm not really interested in selling anyone at the moment. I don't need anyone else to come in. The only thing that I could... Sign is another striker, but then I think Harry Kane's coming back in a few weeks. Vinicius is doing the job. Promise can play up front if we actually need him. So I'm not really worried about that. And with that being said, let's take a look at the game against Leipzig. Modric plays it up to Son. He's going to go himself. Player through to Vinicius. He's going to go for the long shot, and it goes straight at Gala Galaxy. Is that his name, Galaxy? Bale whips it in. Looking for Promise, and we almost found him. It's going to be a corner. Let's play it short. I never really play it short. Luka Modric takes the shot. Oh my goodness. This guy can shoot from anywhere. Son lays it off to Quincy. Quincy with the finesse. Hits someone and it goes over. So we go again. Can we get a short corner maybe? Modric is coming to pick it up. Let's play it short. Plays it back to Quincy Promes. He's going to go for it again. Almost went in, but... Of course, it was wide. Adams again. Plays it through. And that's a nice pass. Angelino. Angelino again. And somehow he misses it. I don't know what happened there, but it ended up going out for a throw-in from there. There we go. Here's Modric. Vinicius. Oh, it's opened up for Bale. Just play it straight through. No one is marking him. Gareth Bale on the left foot. Can he do some damage? Yes, he can. Finesse is a pass to keeper with a bit of power. And, I mean, no one was marking him, so expect the goals when no one's marking Bale. Nice work by Correa. And we cut it out. Son. Skips pass with a bit of pace. They can't contain this guy. Oh, last minute effort then. They did well to block that one. Angelino down the left. Plays it into the middle. Olmo. Can't win it there. Oh, they take the shot. Lloris with a good save. Bad defending there. Plays it through. Chan. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, good moves and good goal. They deserve that one. I could feel the pressure, and it was only a matter of time before they pull one in. One all at the moment going into the second half. This came right on half time. Well, I mean, they're, they're tricky at the moment. They've got some tricky feet. Hard to defend. I uh, went to uh, block the pass there with a slide tackle, but then he lays it off to the next guy. And I think it was Chan who scored there. Easy tap in for him. Played down the left. Regulon to Lucas. Lucas plays it to Modric. And we're going to find him again. Played inside to Son. Son's going to hit it. Oh, with a lot of power. Good save by the keeper. It's going to go back to Son. Let's go yourself, Son. It's done well. And it's straight at the keeper. Well, the question is, do we hit it with Bale? I think we're going to have to uh, go for it here. Gareth Bale over the wall. Oh, keeper with a save. It was going in as well. We go again. Doherty wins the header. Bale. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a save by the keeper again. Good defending. That's a bad pass. Oh, man. Chan. I could feel it. I can feel the upset. Oh, no, it's fallen straight to him. Both defenders are out. What a save by Lloris. And now there's a chance here for Son. Plays it up to Vinicius. Oh, what a pass into Lucas Moura. This is the chance. Go yourself. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, keeper recovers quicker than Lucas there. One more chance, maybe, for Leipzig. I don't think we've got a chance. Actually, we might. If we actually play it forward here. Son. He's through. With the left foot. Oh, no, they block it. And that's it. They've defended well. We've defended pretty well as well. And both teams have to settle with the draw. We're in third place. Two points behind Juventus now because we dropped two points. Liverpool right behind us with PSG. 
like I said, it's way too early to call. Everyone is going for it. The top six can all win it at the moment. All right, let's get into the game against Man City. They're coming in seventh, so this should be a pretty difficult game again, but you never know with this world-class difficulty. Sometimes they turn up, sometimes they don't. I've got a full-strength team here besides Harry Kane, and it looks like Man City are coming in pretty strong as well, so let's get into it. Should be a good game. Oh, no, big mistake. Half asleep again. And we're going to get punished. Oh, it's like the moment you do a bad pass, you know you're going to get punished with a goal. And that's my fault there. I can't blame anyone for doing a stupid throw out. I don't know, sometimes you get those brain farts where you don't think. And it's cost us a goal here. Oh, fall straight back to him. Here's Aguero. Across to KDB. What a save by Lloris. Usually Kevin De Bruyne scores from there. I don't know how we saved that one. Kevin De Bruyne. Nice tackle. Falls to another one of their guys. Quincy. Plays it up. Vinicius. Back to Son. Take it into the middle, mate. Come on, mate. You've got to score here. Son. Oh, saved by the keeper. What do I have to do? Lucas plays it up. There's a bit of space here for Bale if we can find him. Of course we can't. And now they come again. Through. Oh, good save by Lloris again right on half time. We pump it long. And that's it. Sloppy first half. Stupid mistake gives them the goal. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting second half. Promise again. Oh, they're just physically better than us. Oh, nice ball over the top. He's onside too. Phil Foden. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Lloris with a save again. Quincy. Come on, we've got to get some movement going. Nice counter here. Here's Modric. Vinicius, can he get there? Oh, yes, he can. Vinicius, he hasn't scored in a while, and he's not going to score again. Keepers are unbelievable. Bale with the header. Oh, it almost bounced in. Mares. Can't get him. Can't get it off. Mares. And he goes for the finesse. Oh, almost went into the top corner there over Lloris, but he stuck his hand out. He's kept us in the game, Lloris, man. Here we go, Aguero. Oh, Marcelo with the strike. Luckily, it was him, not anyone else. Bale with the finesse. Oh, of course. Keeper reads it so easily. Why can't we score one of them goals, man? So tricky. Aguero. Oh, it's 2-0 for Man City. They've been fantastic today. Completely dominated us. Completely. Well, I'm going to make a change. Promise can go up front, so we're going to play him up front. I'm going to bring in La Chelsea there. And also, Bergwijn will come in for Bale. And let's see if that makes a difference. Nice header. Quincy. Finds Lucas. Who's going to get there? Lucas Moura. Can he grab a goal? What a save by the keeper again. Oh, he's prime Buffon, this guy, today. Come on. There we go. Promise has made a run. And let's find Son. There we go. We get one back. There's about three minutes left. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but Son scores, of course. Is he going to get there? Come on. Yes, he can. He floats it in, and there's no one there. Of course, it falls to the only Man City guy in the box. Of course. Ah. Oh. Well, we gave it our all there. Somehow we lost 2-1. That silly mistake by me with Lloris cost me the game today. But it makes things more interesting as well in terms of the league title challenge. Well, let's see how the table goes. We are in fourth. Bayern Munich, 48 points. Juventus, 50. So we're three points behind Juventus once again, back where we started. Liverpool, 49. PSG, 47. Inter, 44. Very, very close still. And how many games have we got left? 14 games. So, yeah, it's going to come down probably to the last one or two games of the season. Now, since our poor results in the last two games, I've decided to look for a striker that's got a bit of pace, won't break the budget too much, and is quicker than Vinicius. Vinicius is all right for scraps, but the problem is he's not that agile. And in this game, you need to have pace, you need to be agile. And Harry Kane is not back still for a couple of weeks. So if we're going to have any chance of winning the league, we're going to need a faster striker up front. So I've made the decision to maybe go for Marlon. This guy's 20 years old with an 80 overall. And look at the physicals on him. 90 sprint speed, 90 acceleration. And the finishing is 84, dribbling 87. So this guy's definitely going to bring the flair. And I might have to uh, put a player in with him, like a Lamella. Let's see what they say. Hopefully it works out for me. But probably it won't. And we're going to offer another maybe 
We've got 18 million. They want about 31. We're going to have to probably give them 16 million there. Let's see. That's my best offer. I can't do much more than that. We'll give them a 20% sell on clause because I want to see them say yes, you know. Going to have to entice them a little bit. Oh, here we go. We want Marlon to go for 22, but we consider that Modric should be included in the deal instead. Oh, I'm not going to let Modric go. Come on, you want Lamella. Everyone loves Lamella. I don't want to do this, but I need to put a player into this deal. They want Modric. I can't let Modric go. He's one of our best players in the midfield. It's either Hoiberg or Winks. I'm going to have to give Winks. I didn't want to do it, but I've got no choice. We'll propose a new transfer fee. We'll give them 11 million plus Winks. That brings it to about, what, 35, 36 million. Sure, we can agree to swap Marlon for Winks, but we need uh, 26.7 million. I can't get that money. Proposed new transfer fee, 19 million. They're going to break the bank for me. Can we bring it down to 17.5? 19.8. Oh, I've got 19.5. Can you believe this? I'm probably better off selling Winks myself than getting ripped off here. So what I'm going to do is back out of this and uh, we'll come back, but I'm going to sell Winks first. I want to buy Marlon, but I'm going to have to sell the players to get a better value out of them. Because they're going to rip me off. So I'm going to put Winks on the transfer list. I didn't want to do it, but sometimes you've got to sell players to make money. Uh, also, Lamella. Because if we sell Lamella, then it's alright. Because we can bring in Ryan Sessegnon, who's out on loan. I can bring him in as a backup midfielder on the wings, and he'll do the job like Lamella would. And there we go, look at that. Ryan Sessegnon is available to call back. So we can do that at any time if we need another backup there. I should have got rid of Lamella when we got those offers in last time, but I kept him for backup. And I guess you'll have to find out what happens in the next episode. We need another striker, someone quicker, and I think Marlon could do the job, but it's a matter of making the money for him. Look at this, two days off, Nottingham Forest in the cup, and then Dortmund in the cup again. So two cup games next episode, and then we go back to the league after that. So I hope you did enjoy this one. Bit of an interesting one, a loss and a draw. So we dropped a lot of points today. But it's going to make things more interesting for you guys as well. You can't always win 4-0. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe as well for more episodes. And if you need something else to watch, hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to another video. I'll see you next time.